Visio has a couple of different types of icons. There's the top-down look, which is more of a 2D shape that you see here. And then there's the 3D shape, where the shapes actually have some depth to them. I'm going to create a drawing based on the 3D shapes. On the left-hand side, you can see all the different shapes under Network and Peripherals, as well as Computers and Monitors, and Quick Shapes, which take what it believes are the shapes that you're going to most likely use. Let's click back on Network and Peripherals, and I'll just go ahead and drag out a server, and you can see what it looks like. You can see it has a lot of depth to it, but it, instead of looking at it like you're looking at the top down, it's more like you're looking at sort of the side or in front of it. Uh, but that's okay, because it does give you a different view than the traditional 2D types of icons. You can select one of the shapes, and you can see these other shapes that you may have chosen earlier and it will show those where you can click on it and it automatically links to it. So if you have another device where you want to use a shape for that device, you can do that. I'm going to delete that and we'll take a look at a few other 3D shapes. There's a bridge, a modem. So for instance, if these different shapes don't come out the size that you want them to come out, that's okay. You can just select them and left click and drag and you can see the shapes get larger. You can also connect them together by clicking on the connector button at the top and highlighting until you see the green square in the center and then dragging using your left mouse click to the other device until you have them connected the way you want. Let's do a comparison between the 2D and 3D just so you have a good idea of how that works. We'll go back to our Categories Network, and we'll look at the basic diagram that looks more like a top-down view. And then we'll click Create. Drag over a server, and you can see it looks very flat. If I go to Shapes, I can bring in any of the 3D shapes I may want from before. Just type in 3D, and take a look at all those different 3D shapes. I'll bring out this can just for a comparison. You can see the depth in the 3D shape compared to the 2D shape. If we want to insert a server, we can click the X, go to More Shapes. And if you go to the area that you want, for instance, Network, you can see Computers and Monitors, and then you see Computers and Monitors 3D. So this is another way you can get the 3D shapes. We'll click on that, and it gives me the entire 3D category. I'll drag the PC over just to do a comparison, and you can see quite a big difference. If you'd like, you can also change the color of the 3D shapes. I'm going to make that bigger by left-clicking and dragging it, and we can see the different colors. If we hit this drop-down, we see a list of different colors. If you don't see the color you want, you can go to Design and just change the theme. And now we see new color options. 3D options do tend to take up a little more space, as you can see, but you can resize them if necessary.